Team 12's Rachel Cole is live for us. She's been covering this story all day. And, and Rachel, it, it sounds like she may be the one in trouble here. Yeah, good evening to you both. You know, she says the reason why she pulled the trigger, there's been several break-ins here at the El Diablo Apartments in Tempe. And when she heard that car alarm going off around 4.30 this morning, she thought, well, here we go again. So she put on her robe, went outside to check things out, and took her gun with her. It's kind of, it was kind of a blur, just more because... Like I didn't, I wasn't coming out here expecting to fire. The young woman vividly describing the moment she says she felt threatened and then shot the man she believed was trying to burglarize cars earlier Tuesday morning. I wasn't coming out here expecting to fire the gun. It was more because of what he said when he told someone to shoot me. But she says she feared for her and her roommate's safety. She says she just bought the 9mm over the weekend for protection after other vehicle break-ins at the complex. And this morning, she thought it was happening again. I was asleep, and it was about 4.30, and uh, I heard a car alarm, and just thinking, you know, it was my alarm because my car's been getting broken into, or someone's alarm. Um, I just came outside with my keys, and, and I put the gun in my pocket just, just to be safe because I don't know who was going to be out there. She says she confronted him. He started to walk away, and she followed. That's when he, he stopped, and he looked over his shoulder at me, and he said, hey, fool, shoot this and so I fired six shots at him, I guess. And that's when she fired. Police responding, spending hours investigating. In checking the area, located a male subject with a gunshot wound uh, lying in the parking lot near a bush. Uh, that, that subject was uh, treated and transported to a nearby hospital where he currently is still in critical condition. Other neighbors hearing the commotion telling us their cars have been hit recently too. Right now, I keep everything out of my car. I learned from my from my experience. How long ago was it that your car was broken into? Was it on this property? It was on this property. This the same exact spot about three to four weeks ago. The latest vehicle, this sedan with a busted back window and shattered glass on the ground. It happens a lot. The craziest part was that on Friday when my car got broken into, it was um, broad daylight. And when I had arrived home, two cops were here at the front. The woman was arrested and could face aggravated assault charges, but was released this afternoon. So guys, as you can imagine, a very complicated story, and that's why Tempe police have reiterated to us that it is in the early stages of the investigation, so more developments could be coming out of it, and we'll be sure to keep track of those as they come in. We're live in Tempe this evening. Rachel Cole, 12 News. Guys, back to you. Okay, Rachel, thanks.